Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you several ways in how you can change your username on Windows 11. There are a few sticky ways to do this, but it's quite straightforward once you know how. If this works for you, smash the like button, subscribe for more hints and tips, and let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how we can change our username uh, within our Windows 11 computer. Okay, there's a couple of different ways that you can actually have an account on Windows 11. You can have what is called a local user, which is basically only uh, isolated, or I should say is isolated to the computer itself, which means it's not an online account, right? Now, Windows, when you set Windows 11 up, they don't like you doing this anymore. It's kind of like a hidden buried setting where you, if you're connected to the internet while setting up Windows 11, it's not gonna let you create a local user very easily, right? Um, so most people, nowadays actually create Windows 11 accounts that are linked to an email address or a Microsoft account, right? Which is what I've got right here. But that being said, I'm going to show you how you can change the username of a local user, which is one that is not linked to a Microsoft account, and how you can change your username on a Microsoft account linked account like this one here. That's a lot of words of accounts. Um, you can roast me in the comments for that one. Anyway, here we have my uh, account. Obviously, a lot of this information is blurred out because it's my personal information. Um, and you can see at the top here, it's where your username is. Okay, so that's what we're going to look to change. And I'm going to show you how to do the local account, which will also, funny enough, work for your Microsoft account. Um, but it's not the ideal way of doing it. So let's go ahead and close this down. The first thing we want to do is we want to come down to the search bar down here and we want to search for the word run. Okay, and we are going to click this run system right here. Okay, we're going to click that. That's going to load up this little dialog box right here. And we want to type this in net P L W I Z. Okay, so we type this in and we're going to click on OK. That's going to bring this dialog box up right here. It's going to list all your users and you're going to be able to adjust the name, the username of your user account. So we're going to click on this one right here, which is my uh, Microsoft linked account. And I'm going to click on properties. That's going to then allow me to basically adjust the username and the full name of my account here. OK, so uh, we could adjust this to be the same as our kind of full name if we wanted to. We can give ourselves a really fun nickname if we want, whatever your username name wants to be like user is really a security issue I guess to a degree as well so you're going to want to try to make sure that you kind of get rid of some of these kind of standard pieces of information where possible trait create something a little bit more unique maybe more specific to yourselves um, and obviously you know that's going to be how you would do it okay and this is works fantastically well um, and obviously once you're happy with everything you just click OK and you save everything down okay and it will say right here that these changes will only happen once you actually restart your computer and so do you want to sign out right now do you want to sign in later I'm gonna click no because I don't want to stop this recording but if you click yes you'll basically go through a system restart and your changes would then take effect okay so that's your first method for how to change the username of a local user but what if you want to change your user name uh, for your actual Microsoft account. Well, for that, you actually want to go ahead and search for your account information, which you can search for. I've already found it, but I'm just going to type it in anyway. I'm going to type the word account and you'll see your account information right here. We click that. It's going to bring up that screen that I had earlier. Now in here, you can see all that information about yourselves and you can see when you've got related settings area just here, it says accounts and manage my accounts. Now, if we click that, it's going to load up Google Chrome and Google Chrome is going to log into your Microsoft account in this particular case. And it's going to show all this personal information, right? So there's a lot of information here that's going to be blurred out because obviously this is personal to me. It will show you things like your subscription it will show you uh, any Microsoft storage, any game passes, the devices that you're logged in on, all that information. Now, what we're really interested in is on the left hand side where it says your info. If you give that a click, that's going to load up all your personal information. Again, the majority of this is going to be blurred out because it's my own personal information. Um, and hopefully the editor has edited all of that out. Future self, make sure you edit this section. Anyway, right. Um, so in here, you have the ability to change your full name. OK, that is what is appearing inside of our settings. OK, so that's this area just over here. You can see it has my name in the top left hand corner. So we can go ahead and click on edit name 
and you can go ahead and adjust all of this and save that in and that's going to take that change and affect every single login that you have so unlike the local user where it's only going to change your name on that one singular computer if you have a Microsoft account that is linked and you change your Microsoft account name well that's going to reflect absolutely everywhere okay it won't change your username it will change your first and last name okay your username is going to be specific to your local account right so you're going to want to make sure that you change your username on the device like we showed you earlier but if you want to change your name your first and last name then you want to do that via your Microsoft account and so guys it is honestly as easy as that to change your name on Windows 11 if this worked for you make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you all in the next one